No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. to move. You only make it worse. Oi! You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help him. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't the pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me.
A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. This, uh... Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> You're safe now. White heart, I presume. <laughs> Do you know her, boy? <coughs> that scar. It couldn't be. It 
is you. You survived. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sort of the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. You hear that, Whiteheart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Ready, go.
Where's Gav? Gav should be back by now. <laughs> I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. 
certain if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? What are we waiting for, indeed? I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. Your uncle always seemed a kindly soul, if a little eccentric. Bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. A coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens, I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain.
Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. <laughs> I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Face it together then. To the end. Come on. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Adler. <laughs> This one! Attack! Get him! Never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. It would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows chick like the Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. Oh, there are hundreds of
Word is, poor Isolde's closed her gates to all but the Highborn, and now a great camp sprung up along the walls. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields, just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think they was the Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Run like the wind. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Ever since the Apollo tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking you? Did the Mother Crystals collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. Smash over here! It's over! This one! More of my mother's men. 
Straight home now.
blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. Get him! Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Thank you. 